Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. We're going to see a quick tutorial on how to create a database with OpenOffice Space. Uh, I would consider downloading this video because the size of the fonts in this application would make it difficult with Google's Flash Player. Consider downloading the video. Wizards, that's what it's about. Um, there's a lot of good wizards in OpenOffice. Let's go take a look at the OpenOffice site. Uh, it's openoffice.org. Let's go there. Openoffice.org. You can download it for free, um, and you can use it for free uh, as long as you follow the licensing agreements. When the page loads, I'm using Firefox here, and it's 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 seconds. There it is. It's a free Office white site suite. Let's zoom in a little bit. Love Firefox. Um, multi-platform and we'll be focusing on base here uh, unfortunately there's not a whole lot of uh, in my opinion a whole lot of support for base the help is a little skinny and there's not a whole lot of tutorials out there for base yet that's why we're here create those tutorials so let's go to open office and uh, escape let's go back open office Oh, due to an unexpected error, OpenOffice crashed. <laughs> nice. So, um, OpenOffice is going to start the recovery. Recover progress. Successfully recovered. Uh, now I'm going to. Oh gosh. Um, doing a little f error feedback. And yeah, I'm gonna send. I know I should put in more information than I just did, but <coughs> I've got other things to do right now. So uh, let's try that again. I'm gonna file new. I'm gonna create a new database. Create a new database and connect to an existing. Okay, so. Uh, I can't zoom in very well here, but uh, it says create a new database here. Other option is open an existing database file and then connect to an existing. Now, connected to an existing is very tempting, especially if you have a CVS or an Excel spreadsheet already. Uh, that said, I've bumped into problems that uh, don't allow you to actually add more data or include more CVS files after the database is created. But that's another thing altogether. So let's click on create a new database, click next. Yes, register the database for me. Now this has great implications for uh, future use in terms of your connectivity to Power, uh, to Impress or Word or Calc. Uh, I don't know if we'll get into that for this time. Uh, after the database has been saved, what do you want to do? Open the database for editing, yes. And I want to create tables using the table wizard, yes. Finish. Uh, I'm going to save it right into my documents. That's where it wants it to go. I'm not going to fight it. So I'm going to use the wizard to create the uh, create form and design view. I'm going to use wizard to create form. Ah, okay. So here's our new wizard. It says, it says select fields. Now, uh, what are we going to do? We have business and we have personal. Business has assets, categories, contra uh, contacts, customers, deliveries, employees, employee tasks events, expenses, individual invoice details, invoices, mailing list, order de details, let's go back, orders, payments, products, projects, reservations, suppliers, tasks, time build, transactions. Personal has accounts, addresses, authors, categories, CD collection, diet log, DVD collection, exercise log, household inventory, etc., miniature films, interesting, plants and recipes. Ooh, so what are we going to do? Um, let's do the uh, let's do the basic addresses. So I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and move them all over. I use the double arrow which moves all of the fields over: address, address ID, birth date, child, children name, city. Uh, that should all do it. So let's go to the next link. I could fit, click finish here, but I want to see what it does. Um, basically, it's going to allow us to accept everything as I'm going to accept everything as is. 
Um, next, and now set primary key. Primary key uniquely identifies each record in a database. So I'm going to create a primary key. I'm going to allow it to do that for me. Automatically add a primary key. Yes, I'm going to auto value it as well. And uh, let's go ahead and click next. Addresses. I'm going to name it addresses. What do you want to do next? Insert data immediately. Let's go ahead. Oh, look at that. I accepted everything that uh, Open Office order uh, suggested, but I get an error. And it wants me to go back and fix it, but it doesn't tell me what to do. So, it's probably a set primary key. Turn the auto value off. Next. Now let's see if it works. No, it doesn't work. So, <clears throat> huh. <sighs> All right. Well, wizards, they seem to have problems. Um, open Office users, please, please create your own screencast on base and see if we can fix this. Um, it's free and, well, I was going to say easy to use and set up, but we have problems. Um, yeah, well, first world and developing world share the same problems as it applies to education and uh, environment, the actual physical environment of the first world and developing world is that there's no electricity. Updated infrastructure, no infrastructure is a common problem. Uh, and one of the reasons why I'm creating these screencasts is to show people that uh, uh, we can, uh, through our own good works, improve the situation. Through training and uh, knowledge, we can train our teachers uh, to be more adept at software. And you can help by promoting uh, your own screencasts and alternatives like Linux Terminal Server Project because you're watching this video on a network probably and many teachers and students don't have that access so help your local community by uh, setting up an LTSP environment for them share the wealth by creating screencasts of your software and it's easy enough to do using Demo Studio which is free there are other products that you have to pay for I don't recommend paying for software um, in any event. Thank you for your time. My name again is Dennis Daniels, and let me know if this email helped you or someone you know. Okay, again, thank you, and happy computing.